It's amazing how something starts off so good and then falls on its ass so hard. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Hashtag Align. Funny enough, I actually watched this about a month ago with one of my old roommates. And we liked it. We liked the first half of it. It actually reminded me a lot of This is the End of the World. I believe that's what it was called. It was a French film with the same sort of concept. A guy is in his apartment or in this apartment block, wakes up. He finds out that there's a zombie apocalypse that has happened. He slowly starts to clear out the floors and the rooms on his building. And then essentially it's kind of like Castaway in terms of him just living inside a building, kind of not losing his mind, and then trying to figure out how to move on to another building. It's a very, very short and simplistic film. Funnily enough, I would almost say it's a short film that was well executed into a full-length feature. Hashtag Alive does a few things a little differently at the beginning, more so it shows how the infection starts rather than the character waking up. We see the main character watching the world disintegrate, we see him having phone calls with his family, or essentially what's left of his family, and there's parts in the film that aren't stupid. For instance, he realizes a few things that he needs to do in terms of barricading himself in his room. He watches people outside but knows not to do anything about it. For the first half of the film, it's actually quite genius. It actually has a lot of, hey, that wouldn't be a smart idea to do, so he's not going to do it sort of character choices. There's also a little bit of the idea of social media being used in the film, but as the film progresses, you realize that the actual concept of this film isn't going to be shoved in until literally the last five minutes. Not kidding. The background concept of this film being that social media could save us in an epidemic slash zombie apocalypse like this is so bare. Because once we get to the halfway point, it's right at this point where a cop character is killed outside the house and he actually does something out of desperation to try and save her even though it's in vain it's a little bit of a stupid point but considering how the scene plays out you're like okay i could understand that but then after that it just goes stupid the character finds another character another survivor and they break out they figure a way out of the apartment block and just the stupidity of these characters is astronomical. The things that they do, the thing that the film does, and not just the characters, but just the way the zombies work. There's a firefighter zombie that goes above and beyond. Like, he's the Olympian of zombies in terms of trying to get his prey. When you see the scene happen, I know it's supposed to be terrifying, but it's absolutely hysterical. And it's so bizarre to see a film that started off so well, degrades so quickly, because it just falls apart. The morals and the choices that the characters have in the latter half of the film don't make any sense to the character that was in the beginning half of the movie. It's all of a sudden they got hit on the head with a dunce cap. I haven't seen a film do this in terms of just completely losing its concept so badly in a long time. It's as though the film was made by two different people. The first one being a guy who is logical, a director who was trying to make a grounded film, and then the latter half is like, yeah, <sighs> we're making a zombie movie. If you watch literally up until what, the 45 minute mark of Hashtag Alive, you'll enjoy it. And then afterwards, you'll slowly come to hate it. It's a big woe for me in terms of just disappointments because it starts off so well, and then at the very end of the movie, they just kind of half-ass shove in the social media aspect of the film that just it's so lazy i thought it was just so disappointing in the end i'm gonna give hashtag alive a two out of seven i almost was gonna give it a three but it's so hard for me to try and remember the dumb half of the film i had to like skim through it just to see what i was missing and i couldn't believe how much i had forgotten it's a waste of time i think that it's a great concept it could have been a cool short film but it's just a failure of its own intent. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support.
To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.